Okay, there we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Regular Gamer Out. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Murderer. Oh, this is this is gonna be interesting. I can tell. So this is a horror game I found on itch.io. That's basically like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire if it was set in like a '90s horror movie. I can tell I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Uh, settings. Yep, everything looks good. Enter name. Uh, I'll just go with normal classic Alex. My, my classic name. So let's see who wants to be a murderer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome one and all to the Twisted Spectacle. That is our game show. Today, my dear viewers, we have a most intriguing case of characters lined up for your entertainment. Well, enough for me. Let's dive right in and meet our first participant, shall we? And now, from the bustling metropolis of Chicago, where truth is a commodity bought and sold. We welcome Sarah Thompson, a journalist diligently seeking the ultimate scoop. Good evening, viewers. Let's have some fun and games, shall we? On the concrete jungles of New York City, where dreams come to die. We have the enigmatic Richard Greystone, a man whose legal prowess is matched only by his moral flexibility. Greetings, esteemed guests. It's a pleasure to grace your screens with my presence. Let the games begin. Don't know why the screen keeps on shifting there. Next up, straight from the unknown with the skill and termination of a true gamer, a wildcard participant. Hello, everyone. Ready to shake things up? And of course, our final contestant needs no introduction, hauling from the foggy streets of London. Where whispers of occult echo through the night. We have the inscrutable Edgar Darkwood, a man whose secrets are as numerous as the stars themselves. Greetings, mortals, let's embrace the unknown together. And there you have it, dear viewers, our motley crew of contestants, each with their own dark desires and ambitions. Ready to do battle in this arena, so sit back, relax, and prepare yourselves for a journey into the heart of madness. Let the games begin! Oh, this is gonna be a lot of fun, I can tell. <laughs> Welcome to the first phase of the show. This is where we separate the wheat from the chaff, the knowledge seekers from the mere mortals. In this round, your green mat will be put to the test and every correct answer will swell your coffers by handsome 10,000. Ha! Ah, that's money. Now without further ado, let's delve into the depths of the unknown, shall we? Get ready, it's time! <clears throat> Which of these plants associate with deadly nightshade? Um... Not sunflower, belladonna, tulip... Daffodil? Belladonna. And the answer is, is it belladonna? Correct! I actually did not know that. The Devil's Snare, also known as Belladonna, ensnares victims with Del Embrace, making it the envy of every green fun villain. Okay, I know the name Devil's Snare. I know that one. And here we go, Richard, question time. Which famous composer is said to have been buried in a mass grave? The answers are, oh, even I don't know. Frederick Chopin, Ludwig von Beethoven? I don't think Beethoven, Walking well, Amadeus Mozart, no. John Sebastian Bach. What's your answer, Richard? <laughs> My guess is Wolfgang Mozart? No, I don't think it was Mozart. And the answer is... Is it Bach? Oh, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I apologize. Wolfgang updates Mozart's genius behind Thomas Melodies was tragically buried in an unmarked grave, mass grave adding a haunting twist to his Lexi. Really? Okay. Let's hear it, Sarah. Question up. What is the average blood volume in an adult human body? I, I don't even know that one. The answers are... Is it like... 12 liters, 4 to 5 liters. It might be 4 to 5. I'm thinking 4 to 5. There's not nearly as much as you'd think in the human body. <clears throat> Am I wrong? The answer is wrong. Is it 4 to 5? The average old contains about 4 to 5. Yes! These are the crimson fluid, just enough to stain life or to paint a rather macabre picture. I was right. Uh, Edgar, here's a question. What is the name of the psychiatric hospital in New Jersey that once housed notorious criminals and patients deemed unfit for society? The answers are... I might know this one. <clears throat> Over Brick and St. Salem, Trenton Psychiatric Hospital. It might be Trenton. Danvers State Hospital, Arkham Asylum. It's, <laughs> it's Arkham Asylum. Don't say Arkham. Overbook. I was going to guess Trenton. I guess it's Overbook. 
So these are macabre and morbid questions and answers. Over so Sandy checks out mass checks in. Remember, folks, admission is free, but the screens will cost you. That concludes our first round of mind blowing, mind bending questions, folks. And with that, we'll be taking a short break for our sponsors, but don't wander off, my lovelies. When we return, it's time for a bloody exciting game coming up next. And remember, there's no cutting corners here. Well, except when it comes to the minigame with a knife, of course. <laughs> My dear contestants, we're off the air for now, but fear not. If you need anything, anything all, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. Okay. Yeah, these questions are all about morbid stuff that I... The only one I actually kind of knew was the four to five liters of blood. The other ones, not so much. I didn't even know that about Mozart. That's something I'm going to look up. I didn't know that. I don't know if I can do this. I'm scared. What if I mess up? What if I get hurt? You're stronger than you think. Sarah, this game might be tough, but we'll... We'll through it. We will we'll through it together. You don't think so? Okay, let's do this. Ready for the knife game? Uh, just remember to take it slow and steady. No need to rush to anything risky. What exactly is this knife game going to be about? Who can stab who first? His knife game coming up. Who knows what'll happen? Heard Sarah's not handling too well. Makes you wonder if she'll make it through in one piece. <laughs> So, are you ready to continue, or do you need another moment? Let's do it. I'm ready. Excellent. Let's dive back in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping tip. Snow Wee's Wish, an intense boss battle to the last snowman against Santa Claus himself. Yours to enjoy absolutely free. Now it's time for our first main game of the evening, where the contestants' courage will be put to the test. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we have what it takes to handle a little knife play. Here are the rules, contestants. We'll have 30 seconds to score as many points as possible. Okay. You must touch the table with the tip of the knife, avoiding any mishaps with their hands. Oh, it's bad knife game. At the end of the timer, the contestant with the low score will be first to face elimination. Probably means death. Let the games begin. Okay. Is it talk about the knife game where you have your hand on the table and you go, yeah, it's the knife song. Oh. Come on. 15? Oh. So I'm going to get eliminated, huh? Okay. <laughs> um, and now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. But first elimination is me. Great. Right off the bat, huh? An unfortunate soul will be bidding as a do tonight is none other than... Me. Inning one out of four. Oh, well, I tried. Okay, so that's inning one out of four. I'm going to try and get these other free endings as well. So let's try this again. Okay, so the question I got this time is what notorious cult leader orchestrated a series of brutal murders in the late 1960s, including actress Sharon Tate? Okay, that's obvious. Come on, that that's Charles Manson. Even I know that one. That That's a well-known one. Yeah, I know that one. Wait, are their questions going to be the same? Yep, that's points to me. Mr. Mayhem and Pipe Piper of Psychosis. Okay, is, are their questions going to be the same? Because if they are, then I'll just skip to next one. Oh, wait, no. What's the name of Forest and Man known as the most haunted forest in the world? Wait, I thought the most haunted forest was the one in Japan. The one where a lot of people go to off themselves, so to say. <clears throat> I don't know the answer to that one. I love these questions. Okay, so... What questions you get? It's randomly generated. It's not linear. I like that. That's fun. Okay, well, you got that one correct. Yeah, I don't know about this forest. So I have to look that one up. The one I know about is the one in Japan. What's your question, Sarah? Infamous serial killer who inspired the character Norman Bates in Psycho. Oh, um. Ah, uh, what's his name? He also. No, not John McGacy, not Ted Bundy. <clears throat> Ed Gein. It was Ed Gein. Because he was also an inspiration. Slightly for... He was also slightly an inspiration from um, Leatherface, but not really much. 
Actually, he was the inspiration for a lot of horror movie slasher characters. <laughs> yeah, that, that one's also well known. No, when a corpse appears to move or grow hair after death. Um, I don't actually know. It's not rigor mortis. Dead moves. Terminal lucidity. It might be rigor mortis. I think... Is it rigor mortis? Oh. Is it dead moves? <laughs> it's rigor mortis, is it? Ah, oh, no. It's okay. It's post... Oh! Post-mortem spasms. Okay, I actually did know that one. A little bit like morbid stuff. <laughs> okay, now let's go to round two with knife game. Okay. Okay, how'd I do? 23, come on. Okay, yep. Oh, so close to being highest. Okay, not... I actually did good that time. I did good. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. The first elimination. The unfortunate soul who will be biting us adieu tonight is none other than it's Sarah. Sarah. Yep, we hear the sounds of a chainsaw. Well, it's all up. Things just got serious. Yep. Now the game truly begins. Here we are. Let's continue with the show. <laughs> We're diving straight into our second round of questions. Okay. Let's do this. I love these questions. The contestants and moral fiber will be put under the microscope for all to see. If we answer in this round, we'll earn you $10,000. So feel free to speak your mind without any inhibitions. Let's see who will rise to the occasion and who will falter under the weight of their own conscience. Get ready for some thought-provoking question, folks. Alex, here's your moment. Give me it. You witness a crime, but are offered a large sum of money to remain silent. What's your response? Said bribe, stay silent. Earn money for your silence. Report a crime to authorities. Said to bribe. Oh, interesting. Speak or to profit from silence. A moral quandary ripe for manipulation and deceit. Uh, Richard, here's a question. That really wasn't much of a question, but okay. A choose the executioner. What criteria guide your decision? Answers are... <clears throat> inflict slow, agonizing suffering. Advocate for dignity and passion. Okay. Choose a finish scene minimal pain and maximize spectacle and fear. Inflict slow, agonizing suffering? Oh, interesting. Richard, he... Okay. The RX keeps morbid section for our twisted amusement. Ah, uh, Edgar. Here's the question. You receive a letter containing disturbing photographs of yourself. Take by your knowledge. How do you respond? The answers are... It, dismiss it as amateur blackmail. Vest can't take legal action. Basically, just choose whatever is, like, most immoral and corrupt answer. Already he's used him for promotional... Oh, jeez. Dang. Dismisses amateur blackmail. Oh, interesting. Pictures were fast words, or in this case, a thousand nightmares. <gasps> Alright, folks. That wraps up second round questioning. All of those questions were nearly as fun as the first one. And my my, have we peeled back some layers? Now we've got a glimpse of the real deal. The raw essence of each contestant. They've seized, uh, uh, sized each other up. And believe me, they're sharpening their claws for what's to come. The voting phase is up next. Stay tuned after a short break. We'll reveal the two finalists of this twisted little game. <clears throat> and for you out there watching at home, don't forget to call our toll free number to join us in the studio audience for the next episode. There's always a need for fresh faces. Voting, eh? Well, well, well. Things are about to get interesting. The shadows deepen. Well, folks, it seems we're off the air for now. If you need to know when we're back, you know where to find me. Just don't keep me waiting too long. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Sarah is gone. So it's come down to this, huh? Tell me. Could I trust you over the other contestant? No. 
Edgar to champ. He's a trouble for me and you. Okay. I'd, it'd be riskier for you to face off with him in the final, wouldn't it? How about we vote him out and clear a path for us? Okay, let's do it. Watch your back, mate. Trust is a commodity in these parts. So, Alex, are you ready to continue or do you need another moment? I'm ready. We're voting. <clears throat> the thing is, though, he's making more money, so welcome back, folks. We're live again. Before we dive back in, here's a quick shopping advice. <clears throat> Looper, the last mission, a small arcade shooter where you're trapped in a time loop and battle against your past selves. And it's available at the crippled price of zero dollars. It's time to introduce our next phase of voting round. Here's how it works. Each player will cast their vote on who they believe should be eliminated. Okay. Contestants with the most votes will be out of the game. <clears throat> now, to vote any unpleasant deadlock situation where everyone gets a vote in that case, all participants will be eliminated. There will be no winner. So, think carefully, including who you believe others might vote for. Oh, should we vote for Richard? Alright, let's get down to it. Alex, who are you voting for? Richard, what about you? No hesitation? Yep. The votes are in. <clears throat> okay, Edgar, are you going to vote for me? Yep. And this is why we take you down. Alright, we have a winner, should I say an eliminated contestant? Sorry, buddy. You're out of the game. And there goes the buzzsaws. Alright, folks, we're getting closer to the grand finale of this show, and that means the questions are getting a bit more serious. Each correct answer in this final round earn you a whopping 25 ah, money. Okay. But enough chit chat. Let's dive right into the last round of questions. Very good ones. Here we go. It's question time. Give me it. Give me. Give me a question. What's the term for the act of killing someone by slashing their throat horizontally from ear to ear? That's just throat slitting. Yeah. The answer is correct. Yeah, I know that one. That's easy. Throat slitting sound art. Painting crimson masterpieces with a dancing blade. Uh, in most movies, it's kind of boring. <laughs> Even James A. Janice from Dead Meat agrees on his kill counts. What's the minimal core body temperature required for human survival? I don't know, actually. Um, I'm going to guess 28 to 30. <laughs> 28 to 30? Oh, is he right? Or... So it's 4235. How about for me is calling chilling embrace? You life's fire thing. Okay, gonna finish right now. Alright, folks, time for our last commercial break before the grand finale. We have the money advantage. Bounce engage in a duel filled with thrills and spills, a real bloodbath of entertainment. My dear Cup says, this is your last chance to catch your breath. <clears throat> Hope you're all handy with a rifle. Go hand me a gun. Uh. He's got 25,000. We have like. We got like 50,000. <clears> Here we are. No more games or tricks from now on. Just you and me left. But I'm sorry. I'll be the one walking away victorious. Mate, I'm the one who already has the more money right now. I'm winning this game. Well, Alex, it's that time we've all been waiting for. Are you ready to face the final showdown? Or do you need a moment to gather yourself? Let's do this. Excellent. Dive back in. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. We're about to find out who will be the winner of this exciting night. Before we dive back in, here's the last shopping tip. Mindswiper Reborn, a modern reinterpretation of classic Mindswiper with updated graphics, new gameplay mode. And guess what? It's absolutely free, 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 free. I mean, who's the fool playing, paying us to promote these, right? Maybe we don't talk about your sponsors like that, but okay. Ladies and gentlemen, and stream finalists, perhaps by now you've grasped the essence and purpose of this spectacle. The initial phase of questioning, we test our contestants' knowledge, then their courage in a knife minigame. In the second phase of questioning, an individual will probe the morality of the players and the coldness required to choose to eliminate another individual. In the final phase of questioning, we serve whether you know the method if you made it here. You have all the cards on the table to be true murderers. There's just one final step to truly define yourselves as such. Shit. And so in the last phase, you'll be armed with a rifle in 30 seconds of time. But man, to take out most people from the audience will be the champion of the dazzling episode of their game show. 
We drift backstairs again. We're shooting the audience? Oh, I am so sorry. How might I get 30? Oh man, I I wiped the floor of Richard. Alright, folks, it's time to announce the winner of tonight's thrilling episode. The winner's me. But before we do, let's give a round of applause to our break contestants for their um valiant efforts. Now, without further ado, our champion should I say our murderer is none other than No, please! Don't do this! I'll do anything! I'll beg! Alex. Well, I guess I'm the murderer. But remember, this victory isn't just about the prize. It's about the journey, the thrill of the hunt. The adrenaline rush of the kill. Let's not forget the sweet intoxicating scent of blood in the air. So without further ado, let's crown our murderer and bid farewell to another exhilarating episode of... Okay, ending three out of four, murderer. Okay, we did good. We did good there. 30 kills. Okay, so we still have ending two and four to get. So we'll also get those endings. I am enjoying this game a lot. It is very fun. It's so different, unique. I love it. Okay, so we're talking to Sarah right now, and I think this might contribute to what ending we're going to get. Because I tried to see maybe money might be something that might give me a different ending, but I got the same murder ending when I thought maybe having less money did, but no. So I think you get out of here. Yes, probably best if you try and leave. Yes, you're right. It's better to withdraw now. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate your understanding. Well, okay, vendor goes contestant number two. Listen, this game, there's no turning back or running away. It's best to keep that in mind. Let's dive back in. Gentlemen, we're living live once again for two. We have to turn a slight setback. Sarah will be unable to team with the games due to unforeseen circumstances. With one because it's already eliminated, I just skip our first minigame, albeit reluctantly. But fear not, dear viewers, for the show must go on. We're diving straight into second round questions. Okay. Okay, let's see. Yes, and let's vote out Edgar again. Let's try and see how much we can, like, manipulate to get most of the contestants killed. I think that's what we need to do. Just phantom show. We are voting once again for Edgar. Yep. And now on to final one. Okay. This made it time it takes him by to completely decompose and soil. That's like six to eight years, I think. Six to eight years? Six to eight years, yes! My mind is a place you do not want to go to. It's a little advantage to even odds, eh? Accept the deal. Excellent choice, my friend. Now that's the spear to show. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on air. We're about to find out who will be the winner of this exciting night. Okay, so he's giving us like a little cheat. Before we dive back in res, here's the last shopping tip. Astronomy, Astronomy, Smut Player, where you can explore the universe, discover, and name over and pass constellations. Jeez. Come on. Oh, how many did I do? 30. Okay, okay. He did 9. Wow, okay. He must be a lousy shot. I'm not winner of tonight's thrilling episode. But before do, let's give a round of applause to our break contestants. For do, Chamber Shy say murder is none other than. Yep, I win again. It's just about the prize, about the journey to fill the night, rush to kill, accident, blood and air. It's about further ado. Let's crown our murderer and bid farewell to another exhilarating episode of Aberration. Okay, so that's the fourth ending. Basically, try and get everyone killed if they accept uh, the host deal at the end. Okay, we still have the second ending to get, and then that's it. So let's try and get that, shall we? 
Okay, so I think for this one, we need to try and not be the one who causes them to die, kind of. I think we need to be nice to her, encourage her, as well as a vote for Richard instead of um, Edgar. So let's say you're stronger than you think you are. This game might be tough. We'll throw it together. Really think so? Okay, Alex, let's do this. And then got these two. This knife game coming up. Who knows what will happen? Yeah, this knife game. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go on to voting. Okay, yeah, this time we're going to say no and then tell him I don't want to play dirty. And then we're going to vote Richard this time. Or should we also vote for Edgar? Oh no, we're all both voted for Richard. So he is the one out of the game this time. So now it's just me and Edgar. Okay. So this is going to be interesting. Okay, yep. We win again. We're able to hunt. Okay, so yep. Ending turn out four. Hollow victory. Okay. And with that, that means we've gotten all endings. All four of them. Oh, I gotta admit, I love this game. It's such an interesting take. I mean, I've seen, like, small horror-themed game shows before, such as, like, the elevator parts in uh, Sound Hill 2. <laughs> but this one was so much fun. This was amazing. I like this style. This was so unique and different. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I loved it a lot. This was so much fun. This was a lot of fun. I enjoyed this. <laughs> Uh, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe since it supports me in the channel. And if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all, do leave it in the comments down below. But till then, I'll see you guys next video. Stay awesome.